hallelujah. We're back watching more Moral Oral. And if you guys want us to watch more Moral Oral, get this video to 12,000 likes. And if you love God, then check out our Patreon, where you can get access to exclusive videos like a Total Drama Revenge of the Island and Avatar Reaction. And subscribe so you don't miss the next prayer. Hail Mary. Do you think like... I... When, be, sorry. Become so... No. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to talk about Virgin Mary. Like, how soon after getting pregnant with Jesus did she start piping? Like... My face when I shoved the f***ing vibrator up my ass. That is a drill. That's a drill. <laughs> Wait, that's not shapey. Sometimes kids' hair, like, changes color as they get older. It took her a whole season to figure out her son wasn't her son. I think we may have accidentally switched babies, and I'd like to switch back. She has two kids now! She just has two! Hmm. Oh, jackhammer. Is that you? They designed this after me, bro. Oh my fucking Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh -huh. Jack, what did you do? She destroyed her pussy. I don't like the spread legs POV. The doctor looking up my pussy POV. Well, they're just a high level painkiller. She's just gonna get hooked on painkillers. I'm surprised she isn't already. She already seems like she is. Call me Bliberta. You know she's down bad when she's flirting with her gynecologist. The doctor is in. The doctor is in. So yeah, this sucks. Um, she is literally destroying her body because her husband won't satisfy her. Uh, <clears throat> well, you seem to be doing nicely. Let's up that prescription, shall we? Oh my god, the legs. They're so brutal. Like, I know it's all <laughs> fucking clay. Like, it's clay they bought at a Michaels or something. But, like, it feels real. Uh Oh, I feel so uncomfortable right now. I totally forgot about this episode. Oh, no, don't use the chainsaw. Don't use the chainsaw. You've cured me, doctor. I hate this POV so much. I can't take it. It looks like he's going down on her. I feel like a woman about to get my pussy in like... But in like a bad way, you know. Not like what I dream about every night. I hope I cut myself shaving tomorrow. Oh, uh, now we get the POV of the other incredible parent. God, these these first person POVs are so uncomfortable. We get to... Oh, he's so confused. He's like, what? Man, you're getting a lot of featured time here, Jack. You're the Jack and Coke, the hand Jack. You're all over this family. Oh, and then it goes back to the beginning of the episode. Oh, it all comes full circle. That was sick. My own flesh and... Oh, uh -huh. ah, ah. oh my, I don't want to see him get spanked. Especially not if he's enjoying it. What am I grounded from? Church. Dad! That is fucked, man. That, he's one day sober from church, man. That's cr Look, he's itching. This is worth the withdrawals than when Oral was addicted to crack in episode two. He's, he's getting God withdrawals. He kind of had this coming, though. Like, I'm trying to fathom what possibly could have led to the process of him bathing in a pool of his friend's blood. Oh, bloody. Ah, uh, 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 no cheating. No cheating! He constructed an entire beautiful church out of cardboard. Look, okay, editor, can you... Can you compare this withdrawal to the crack one? Because I think it looks worse. I think the church withdrawal is worse. Oh, I didn't make nearly enough scratch today. Say, if you're a church, where's the metal cross that's always on top uh, uh, of you? Yeah, you're right, you're right. I need a cross. Hmm. Hey, I got an idea. Let's steal it from someone. Morbidly sized clothing store. Plus size clothing store. I mean, it's America. Shouldn't it just be called clothing store? Yeah, it should be called normal clothing store. This is it. He sounds like Gollum. You know, he kind of is like Gollum with his desire for God. The Bible is his one ring. He looks like Mewtwo, like he has no genitals. Or is that a penis? I don't even know. I've got to talk to God. I have to find a way. He's going to become immune to electric shock. I like that Doey just let Oral kill himself. Doey is the dumbest kid like ever to his brain is made of dough. His parents had him when he was 13. They were probably drinking during pregnancy. Okay. Doey assisted suicide is not something I would thought I would be looking at in this episode. He doesn't he look like Mewtwo chat? He's so weird looking. He'll overlay the Mewtwo monologue. It is what you do with the gift of life that determines who you are. Come back, Oral. <laughs> Please come back. Blaberta don't care. Doey's the only one crying. I learned all about heaven, and guess what? It's not at all like we thought it was. 
That's what you get for trying to kill yourself. That's what you get for killing yourself four different times and getting your friend to murder you. If you try and kill yourself again, I'll kill you myself. Man, let me tell you, that song of yours was a hoot. I hate you, Jesus. Never don't. How do they not understand it was a bad song? Oral, can you excuse us for a moment while we talk? How is this or Oral didn't write the song. <laughs> he popularized it, okay? Amen. No! Mine! Why don't you share with your kids for one? Yeah, share your toys with your kids. From now on, we may have to start putting some actual thought into the way we coach him. Um, by coach, you mean teach, right? Yes. Gumdrops. See you later, crocodile. I guess I can go too. Dude, they don't fucking care about Oral, even though he's, he's literally killed people. He revived zombies that have murdered people. Oral is like canonically like the most powerful person in this fucking town. Like they're having a group meeting to decide how to handle this one child. His power level is insane. What can I do to make it up to God? N nothing. God knows you've done enough. Jesus and the ass he rode in on. <laughs> Can't you just forget about all this? Well, I guess I can forget about it if I really try. Don't try. Uh, <laughs> don't try. You're gonna kill someone. I think Oral just needs someone to follow him around constantly and make sure he's not about to do something fucking crazy. The cops have to patrol him like 24/7. Oral's gonna inadvertently start like the next nuclear war. He'll just stumble into the White House and just press the big red button with all the nuclear launch codes on it. I'm afraid God's mad at me. Mad at you, Gavolt? Uh, Sharon, get the blood. Blood? You bet. Nothing like the blood of the innocent to keep away pesky plagues. Oh, it keeps pests away? That and the wrath of God, which is handy. What, is he gonna steal your kids at night or something? Why are they, what, who are they afraid of? Hot dog! The blood bank, oh my God, you don't need fucking blood. I love Jesus, I love you, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that! Pissing in front of a child, that's normal. Bro, it's so loud. And then Mr. Christine said that you could be extra innocent in the eyes of God if you slather the blood of the innocent on- Oh, the blood! And that's why he started cutting up his friends in the last episode. We're like slowly putting the pieces together, like all the terrible context before Oral was shot. Thanks for the guidance, coach. My pleasure, kid. So Danielle's to blame. I'm gonna blame it on his parents for raising this child this way. Or sorry, lack of raising this child i got shot by you you sure did bruh i just wanted to make sure i'm getting this right you listen to your elder please yeah uh, well, you're doing everything right. When he gave him permission. That's crazy. They're so hype about it, too. You do have to admit, though, that, like, Oral would be a fire cult leader. Well, because he's the best cult leader because he actually will believe in the cult. Because most cult leaders are fucking gaslighting you. Oral will wholeheartedly believe what he's doing is right. I heard this is one of the most wholesome episodes of the show. Oh, no. <laughs> no! His adult swim was like, oh, you can make the show darker. And then they made it too dark. Like, not even young Sheldon would make an episode this fucked up. We should set a good adult example for our little Sonny here. Right, Sonny? Our little Sonny. She wants a family, man. Oh! This is so sad. I feel like I've been forced into, like, a roleplay discord against my will. It's a discord roleplay, but it's only one person roleplaying by themselves. Imagine it's, like, black. Black mirror there's like a living person inside of that teddy bear oh and that's like fucked up he puts she puts the doctor who, who's f***ing her in the teddy bear in the teddy bear ah! it was a like a little jamster she likes to make really big batches of homemade strawberry jam she needs the clothes hanger to stir it up her spoons were dirty yeah she used her spoons for an abortion that's what we call plan s they really she really just put that on her table huh and oh no oh yeah okay she's gonna keep using it though <laughs> This is the most economical abortion there ever was. After only one month of incarceration, serial rapist Cecil Creepler. Oh, was <gasps> the Creepler! Oh my god, I forgot about this! Only one month. The fucking rapist. And here I thought he just loved serving ice cream. I just thought he wanted to touch kids. <laughs> They, they really tackled, like, every fucked up topic for, like, a single sad woman. They didn't tackle just abortion. They checked all the boxes. No! Javi, you can't! You got any good jokes to make here? No! Ah! She spilled the milk! 
<laughs> Spill the milk, it's so funny. Guys, and that's what we named our channel off of. Corn and I were watching Mortal Laurel and we saw this scene and we're like, this is such a fun scene. This is a great name for our comedy reaction channel. Yeah, that's what we named it. That's the theory. That's, yep. Nice throw, son. Gee, thanks. What do you think of this knuckler? The busy dad toss him at it. His dad at least bought that for him. Like, that's so sweet. Insert alcohol here. Now use the cash I gave you this morning and go buy your own bandages. Go on, beat it. You probably give him $3. He can't afford bandages. He's wasting all the bandages. That's so evil. They're so comically evil. But it's kind of like couple goals, though. Gee. Even Oral's got a dad who cares. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a special kind of person to find the man within himself and shoot bullets into the lungs. <laughs> hey, now that's what I call killing. So do the kids have their heads shrink when they grow up? I, it didn't occur to me that all the kids have larger heads than the adults for some reason. Kids just have big heads, bro. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah, Oral's head is fucking like twice the size of his dad's. Oral just has an objectively big Big head. From here on out, you're Oral's official shooting coach. Now I don't have to spend time with my son. Oral, if this keeps up, I'm gonna end up taking Deputy Doey on the trip instead of you. Oh! Dude, America's crazy, let's be honest. Oral is just shooting guns in the front lawn and no one gives a shit. Yeah, this, America is just like this. It's just like this, verbatim. A fixed sight and a six round rotating chamber. Bro, they should play like Russian roulette in this classroom. I thought you were gonna say they should play pumped up kicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought that bringing a loaded gun to school could be such a disaster? <laughs> this is America. Clip it. Clip it and ship it, chat. Who would have thought bringing a loaded gun would harm people? Lift it gently to your lips and ever so slightly. Breathe in. He's teaching a child how to smoke. He's so based. I'm not gonna lie. Is he gonna make him smoke the whole pack? You're gonna smoke the whole fucking pack, just like Peter did with Chris, bro. If you like it so much, why don't you smoke the whole pack? <laughs> oh shit. Golly. Depressed Golly was so sad. I'm not gonna. Oh no. Oral holding the gun is just so cool. He had a full bottle up his ass. Pesky arthritis. Cause you're old, that's why. Yeah, roast him, get him. You're always old. This is Twitch chat ta talking to any streamer over the age of 25. The 13 year olds yelling at, fu <laughs> at fucking Ludwig for being 30. Ah, oh, Sonny, you're playing- This is worse than like the crazy cat ladies that don't have like a boyfriend because at least cats are living, breathing beings. She just has two teddy bears that look sad. That teddy bear looks depressed. She couldn't even get a happy looking teddy bear. A fake teddy bear is her husband. It doesn't even happen to be with her. My mom must have been old too because she died of old age right in the middle of my childbirth. Boozai! <laughs> Oh my god! She died of old age right in the middle of my childbirth. He's, he's like, stupid bitch died giving birth to me. Well, Joe likes killing people, right? Maybe Joe murdered his mother. That was his first kill. Did I come out of you? Um, who knows? Maybe once, but that was like 20 years ago. I mean, what happened? Uh, you? You. You happened. Oh, Joe's 12 and is being faced with like, this is so much trauma for a 12 year old to deal with. He has developmental problems too. Like he has so many issues already. He's not so special. Ooh. Yes, he is. No, I hate him. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it had that oh. feature though. That's pretty cool. That's a sick teddy bear. Honestly, a respectable teddy bear. I understand the appeal now. Wow, this is weird. You're holding my... You. This is weird. This is. She sums up the entire. This entire season. She died in childbirth. You old stupid. Brady Hurt. She's alive, dum dum. His elderly ass dad. He's taking him to task. Jesus fuck. I. Why didn't you tell me about her? Why should I tell you anything? I'm not your mom. Hard as hell. Using that against him is fucking sick. He probably licked up a little bit of his father's blood, too. Delicious protein. Aw, she threw out the teddy bear. I'm kind of hoping now that you could work the way Sonny used to. Like this? <laughs> no, like this. Mm. 
It's wholesome. It's so cute. It's so cute. The smartest characters in all of Moralton. When's the big day, Millie? Oh, well, Norm still has- Norm, Norm of the North. Norm is still in the North right now. I can't, I can't get married yet. He's busy. He's visiting Santa. Oh, it's so nice to feel wanted. <laughs> Aw, they're literally parading it in her face. That's so evil. Clean your room. <sighs> Why not? Her mom's Jordan Peterson. Oh, and she never cleans her room because she's fucking depressed. Oh, and she's drinking. Oh, yay. Daddy, I feel so left out of the family choir. Well, it's because you are. <laughs> You're left out because uh, you, you are left out. I love you, Daddy. Okay. Um, what is it? The dad is so weird. He tried though. He tried. He tried to try. And somehow, that's a lot more than most characters do. He's like S tier character right there. In morals, who is the most moral in moral oral? The dad there is one of the best. Oh my god, there he is. He's sexy, bro. God damn. Clay Puppington, bro. Yo, look at that hair strand. Is he got the Clark Kent hair? Let's. Friend of the bride or the groom? Uh huh. Oh. oh, well, I'm just a groomer. My bad. I don't know anyone. I'm Liberta. Liberta Hyman Tact. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. No way her name is Bliberta Hyman Tact. There is no fucking way. There's so many jokes I have forgotten in this show. Hyman Tact. She's giving her the baddie eyes. Liberta's got the raise. Isn't drinking a sin? Jesus drank. Oh, true. A lot. Hmm. Isn't that funny that his wife got him addicted? It's kind of wholesome. It's like poetic. It's poetic justice. Do you want to dance? Okay. Okay. Okay, Clay. Brother, turn up. Oh my god, dude, the animation's so good. I love the dancing animation. It's so cool. She switched up so quickly. So she is severely um, deranged. It seems all I've been doing since I met you is help and help and help. Oh, the gaslighting is crazy. Oh. Did she get the three Gs? She girl bossed? She girl bossed, she gatekeeped. She gaslit, bro. She did all three. He's frowning. He is frowning at the fuck. He is drinking. Take Clay Puppington as your lawful wedded husband. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's such a beautiful, wholesome story. We watched some messed up episodes. So if you want to watch the uncensored version, go to the Patreon to access that. And you can also watch the uncut version. Thanks to our patrons. Aromare. Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Aaron Tateson. Atomic Leon. Bento. Kam Luke. Cosmic Dega. Crystal Bunny. Frozen Spaghetti. Gabriel Granados. Gurney Snai Yonison. Hayden H. Helio. Honor Pearson. Hummus. I pegged Brett Hand. Isaiah Alford. Jace LaRue. K99. King of the Streets. Leaf. Lilac Moon. My Artistry. McBally Attic. Native, Okuma, Patrick Case Randall, Pigeon Witch, Rain, Sam, Tyrion Sills, Union Prince Gov, Val Explicit, Victoria, Weebologist Rick, Yvonne Got Two Bored, Z9R, 